In this lesson, I'm going to be reminding you on how to deal with negative numbers. We have four questions here on the board. We have this, 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 and that, and we're going to do it in that order. So let's have a look at our first one, minus five plus minus three. So these are together. So which sign is more dominant? When you have a plus and a negative next to each other, the negative is dominant. So you end up with minus five minus three, which of course gives us minus eight. Let's move on to the next one. We've got minus 10 minus plus seven. So once again, minus and a plus next to each other, the negative is dominant. So you end up with minus 10 minus seven, which is equal to minus 17. Right, over here we have three minus minus nine. So circling these two, now we have two signs which are the same. So the negative or positives when they're next to each other, it's always positive. So you end up with three plus nine, which is equal to positive. 12. So onto this last one, we've got two minus minus eight plus minus 12. So once again, just like before, we've got two negatives, so that will become a positive. So you end up with two plus eight and we've got plus and a negative, the negative is dominant. So the negative will come down here and minus 12. Now we just add and subtract as we go along. So two plus eight is equal to 10, 10 minus 12 is equal to minus two. And that's your answer. So on to multiplication and division now. Four more questions for you. So let's start with our first question, minus three times by five. And this is a positive five. So negative times by a positive. First of all, let's concentrate on that actual result. So three times five is equal to 15 and you have a negative times a positive. So the answer will be negative. Now, while I was doing that, just in case some of you are wondering, how am I deciding whether something's a negative and a positive? I just want to remind you of this. So when you have two negative numbers, so you have negative times a negative, obviously this is positive, but if you have two negative numbers, which are multiplying or dividing, then you end up with a positive answer overall. If you have two positive numbers, which are multiplying or dividing, you end up with a positive number uh, um, at the end. And if you have a negative and a positive, or a positive and a negative, then you end up with a negative number at the end. So you might want to make a quick um, note of that one as we do the next one. So here we have a positive number, a positive eight times by a negative three. So therefore, positive times by a negative. So the answer to, to eight times three, we know is 24, but the overall answer will be negative. So minus 24. Over onto this one, so minus 18 divided by minus three. So what's 18 divided by three? 18 divided by three is six. And we have a negative divided by a negative. So we have two negative numbers being divided. So the overall answer will be positive. So it's gonna be a positive six. I don't need to write a plus sign, just not writing a negative means that the answer is positive. On to this last one, we have 25 divided by minus 5, so it's a positive divided by a negative, so therefore 25 divided by 5 is 5, and positive divided by a negative, so positive divided by a negative here, so therefore the answer will be minus 5 overall. And that's it, hopefully you've had a good reminder on negative numbers. Hope you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, please continue sharing with your friends and family, if there are any topics that you'd like me to cover, please don't forget to comment in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.